So we've got the more clean, the X200, 6.5 horsepower electric start. Now first of all what we're going to do is get a mesh, two sets of meshes to go into this top part of this lid here to protect it first of all. To try and help get any dirt that's in there that's going in. Now we've come to it this morning, so this is your first compartment. You've got this filterization system, now if you look down the sides you'll see that dirt's getting down in. So this filterization system is not fully protecting it, it's an absolute garbage idea really. If you look inside this tank you'll see the amount of shit in there. Now what we're looking to do is getting it, being able to vacuum it as well out and clean it out every so often. But the other thing that we've put in place, you'll see the water inlet to the tank here where you fill it up normally with the fresh water. We've put this little, this little compartment on here at the moment. So what we can simply do is close that valve in that position now, leave that shut, open this up. You can then flush that tank out from this side, this tank area, and get the dirt out of this area just every so often. Now you will have to park on a slight slope, but it will help it and protect the actual pump and everything else on the system itself. So you've got a drain off point there. At that point. We've then obviously opened the ball valve back up, and fill the water tank back up, and obviously the water starts flowing through the system. Don't like the quick release coupling for frost protection that's coming in at this side here. We need to make something more permanent there but we also want another filter. That filter is unvisible to see and get to and wanted to make another filter so we're protecting this tank, this pump even better and you can see what's going on when it does start to get dirty towards the pump side. Now we force fed this this morning, the pump itself absolutely fine, there's no issues with the pump at the present moment I can see but that's the system that's in there. We have got room down that side to maybe put another feed to double feed it. The more vaster area filterization system, the longer it's going to go and keep working without coming to any harm. So a trapped unloader. I want to change the unloader. I want to change that unloader to flow sensitive like normal and also take the Ventura out of place. Now if we need a Ventura soap system, we can do it in a different way. Don't know exactly what yet because I'm going to be working on this for yourself. High pressure hose, same again, I'm going to have a point on there where you're able to plug in the vacuum but also this bloody length of hose, no good at all, absolutely nightmare. You don't need a length like that and you can also use thinner hose to do what you're doing. You don't have to be that sort of size. Once the swivel on the gun, no doubt about it to help him work and the lance length, yeah. Also the turbo nozzle that's on there at the present moment in time, we're changing it to a rotting. It needs to be changed to a needs to be changed to a rotor so he can do his own repairs. Now you'll also see on this system we've got the filter inside here, carbon filter build up. So what simply happens is when you let go of the trigger the water dumps back like all our machines normally do on this dump pipe here. Before and it's going through the filter to try and protect it as well. So the water is trying to protect the water from any dirt. So this filter is going to get clogged up after a period of time. Don't really need it. We're going to make it so that is not needed. That will be redundant. We can get it clean without having to go to all this trouble, causing back pressures and everything else in the system. You've then got this valve here. So when you're starting, you need to take the pressure off the engine and everything else. This valve at this point here as well. Yeah. Yeah, so that is a double feed. So really on that side, I want to be making a primary frost valve on there to prime it up that dumps on the floor for a second or two and dumps back to the tank. Not going back in to prime it up when you're first using it. Let's have it going for a split second onto the floor. So frost protection, you'd open that up at the end of the day for frost and it's protected. We're not having to go to all this trouble like we are now. We're probably in, in the brand for anti-freezing in frosty weather. Don't want to it's such a small little filter and that's all there is there to protect that pump from any dirt when it does start to get clogged. You have all that dirt in there, that's getting into there. It's going to check on a regular basis, seal itself. It's such a crappy idea that you then end up getting air leaks then next thing. We can also use this point here when we've done it was a force feed point at that end to flush everything through and back out because it'll have a ball valve on. I'm also wanting to lift this up so we can get the ball valve in place so this comes out 
further over ever so slightly. There's no reason why we can't do it. Lift this up just a touch so we can then have this fully open here than what it is at the moment. But stainless steel galvanized corrodes and rust after a period of time, stainless steel doesn't. Set up. Have a look at the water inside there. You'll see at the level that it's at. Inside, you'll see the filter system. Now you'll see that this is below the filter system is the water level. Here, it's not bad that it's leaking water that much down the sides and everywhere because of the way it is. There's no mastic. So all this you'll see what it's doing next, fetching water from the back end. So that dirty water, or this water that's coming back into here, it's meant to be so called clean and filtered and everything else that you're using to wash with, because this is where it comes to. Same again, this side is not. And this is a new trailer. Now what happens is also when you put weight in down the side here and everywhere, the mastic just comes away so that it's even bigger is the gap, because this plastic just opens up. It's a crazy design, absolute crazy. Any pressure on here? And you've then got leaks going all the way down the side. So putting a filter is just a waste of time. Because all you do just gets down the side of it. Because the, the weight of the water inside the tank causes the tanks to expand and off it goes. So what we're doing is draining the water here out of this side so we can try and seal it with some other form. Stack a mastic or something like that, I don't know. Uh, probably some tape. I think it's better that it's just not as tight as a mastic. So the design on this trailer is crazy. You'll see that the water now in there is getting less because it's coming from this end back through even though the level at the present moment it should be shouldn't be able to get through because the filters bottom level is below it. So what we've got here is obviously the baffle water tank and they've cut down the sides here and everything else to put this filter in. So what we've done now is dry it the best I can. So you'll see there all the way along where there's no mastic. As the weight of the water goes in it just makes all this side. It looks like they haven't got enough screws in. So like they've got a bolt there at the bottom. Then got another bolt at the top here but too far a distance in between so the, pre the pressure of the water pulls it away at the side. The same at the bottom, so there's nothing in that bottom corner where they should probably have a bolt in there to hold it. It's just lifting up as you can see. The same again at the other side, so it's a case of, well, masticking and probably some tape down the side of it to try and just make it so it's a bit more uh, flexible with the weight coming backwards and forwards, causing the pressure. So, what I'm going to try and do is use uh, the Delta itself some Gorilla tape as well. So what we've got here is the bean cleaning system on the GX200 direct drive 200 bar at 10 litres electric start system what we've done is revamp it change it round a little bit all stainless steel screw fittings filter easy to access to where it was before so what I've simply got here what you'd simply do is you've got this system at the moment to drain it off or force feed at any stage any problems <laughs> What you've got here is your water tank, where your water goes into the system here on this side, on the top, by your ball valve to fill up. So you're filling your tank up, you're filling your tank up also, your waste water automatically comes back through here, and the, this is the dirty water side down this side. So as you're washing away into the system itself, you collect the dirt. But like I say, to fill it, fill it that way at the moment. So your water's coming in, it's filling both sides of this side up. Now, like I say, you've got a filter inside there, mesh. So the water that's been put in is meant to be clean, so called, but when you're washing, you're using dirty water. Okay. How we've set up now is on the system, we've put to change it all stainless steel, and what we've got there is we can isolate the tank. So when we close it to that position, the tank itself, the water in the tank is closed off. We've then got this position here. Where you can open and close this valve. Now, frosty weather, what I'll be simply doing is opening this valve, keeping that one closed with the water in or draining it all off at this point here. 
and what you simply got here is another valve at the front of it. Now this valve, as you can see, is letting air into the system so all the water in this filter and everything else goes right the way around so that pipe runs to the other side. So the water comes in normally through here, it would run into here, it run into this side, it would then transfer right the way around into this filter here at this side and into the pump itself making sure that valve is always closed off like it is now. If that valve is open it will take air in at that point and you won't get the pump to work so always make sure that is closed off like it is there. When you're doing it as well you've also got this here to make it start easier so open and closed. So if you open that valve what simply happens is you've got a little pipe that comes into the back of the tank here. So when it primes up you've got this pipe here and that runs right the way to this ball valve it then runs into the top as you can see up there and back into the tank so it takes the pressure off the system if you want to leave that machine running you can leave that machine running that way now especially with a flow sensitive unloader that we put in place instead of the trapped unloader so there's a leak on the gun which happens with using dirty water chip 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 we've used flow sensitive returns back to tank it dumps back to the tank in the top side again so if we look into there it comes right the way. Now it goes through this filter as it's doing it to protect it as well. That's on the return side, dump side. This filter, quick and easy access. Undo with your fingers. The o ring is on this part. So you're not o ring coming off all the time and causing problems. And your filter's there. One of the best filters in the marketplace, the Banjo Easy. So easy to use. And like I say, so what we do is change it all stainless. So when that's closed off at that point, if you wanted to, so you've got that valve closed, you've got that valve open. If you wanted to end of the play, what you can do is put the mains onto here, make sure your hose is on and everything else, make sure that valve is in the closed position. And what you can do is flood all these pipes back out clear, so connecting up to there, the water will come through here, it'll flush this filter back, and it will flush straight out at that point there to make it easy to, to, to clear off at the end of the day just so you know that means water pressure you don't want to be going the other way you want to be going backwards like i say but then when you're finished off frosty weather open this valve up open this valve up and if you want to drain the tank off open all three valves in that position so you're frost protected the pump's completely open all the way through the system all them valves now in open position. Fill your tank up, close that off, your tank's open now so your tank's full of water. Make sure then that this valve is in that position as well. It will then set itself sucking once you've opened this valve. Get it sucking, use the valves to get them open and everything else to get the air out of the system. It will then start a lot easier. And like I say, this filter is on the return side, keep an eye on that. So as it's coming back on the dump side, it comes back into there. Thank you very much, Q Services, Q Washers, eBay and YouTube. And what we are doing is obviously sorting this tank out on that side. So this tank design, it's not got dirty water going back through.